she took my heart that it was nothing but pain what is up guys all right into today's tutorial let me let me get a little better lighting on myself sorry um and today's tutorial what we are gonna do is we're gonna run through this dope repo called Solana Pay. I mean, I can't lie, this is probably one of my favorite repos uh, in the Solana community. <clears throat> it's a pretty simple way to create a POS system utilizing the Solana blockchain. Uh, it's something that's pretty awesome and that's actually pretty simple. So anyone can get it up running uh, the repo deploys to DevNet to start. So just in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to get to mainnet. Uh, we will start with Solana, and then we will add USDC. Uh, USDC is a stable coin based on Solana as well. Um, one of the best things about Solana is that the transaction fees are so small that it makes using it pretty fun. Um, whereas a lot of times developing on some other blockchains... You know, even 20 to 50 cents or even if some chains, $5 is a cheap transaction. It's just not, it's not, uh, it's not real. So let's, uh, let's go here real quick. Uh, <clears throat> let's open up Solana Pay and our VS Code. Okay. So you'll see your repo right here. Let's kind of go through this. Uh, it's going to print out a QR code. Uh, so let's go to the point of sale. So get started, just get clone right here. Get clones to a folder or just to your desktop, which is what I did. So what I'm going to do next is let's CD into point of sale. There, let's just run a little nice little yard install. Let's get all the packages and all that good stuff in there. Okay, let's just run yarn start. Let's just make sure that it's working properly. All right. Just open this right on here. Just open your local host, one, two, three, four. You should see something similar to this. <clears throat> All right, so now that we are there, um, what you'll need to do next is you'll need to open this link. So let's just copy this. Uh, I don't know, let's just go to right here just right now just go to the readme um, I'm gonna paste this link right here what I'm gonna do next is, is I'm gonna grab my uh, wallet address from Phantom this can be any address um, it could be on any different types of wallet uh, but what I'm doing is, is I'm just using <clears throat> the Chrome extension browser uh, let's see make sure I'm on let's go to let's change it to DevNet right now uh, let's see do I have any in there that's all right, I don't need any. So I'm gonna copy this address. I'm going to replace this part. Okay, let's put that there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it, what should I call it guys? Let's just call it Soul Front. I know, Soul Front, so original. All right, let's copy this. Let's now paste this address into our browser and let me. So now, as you can see, we got a nice little setup here, a little keypad, type in some numbers. You know, it can go whatever. Uh, let me move this right here real quick. Let me bring back my. Uh, screen 
So right now we're on DevNet with paying with Soul. Soul is the token that's based on Solana. I'm gonna open up my Phantom wallet on my uh, phone. Switching from mainnet to DevNet on the wallet is actually takes longer than a Solana transaction. That's pretty funny. All right, so I'm just gonna do a micro transaction here. Just do this, it's gonna generate a QR code. Uh, it's going to ask you for this payment. It's going to be in Seoul. Uh, let me go here real quick. Let me do... Um, okay, let me show you. So, all I'm doing is I... Here, tapping this. Okay. Scanning that. This will pop up. Okay, hit send. Huh. Um, that's interesting. That's. Do I not have the. Huh. Let's try it again. All right, send it again. All right, there we go. Um, again, I don't know why. Don't know why it didn't work. Uh, it definitely went through. Just got to check it sometimes uh, so yeah there's just that base now what we're gonna do is next is I'm gonna show you how to deploy to mainnet so what you want to do is is you'll want to go into components uh, open up their root route and so the connection provider is the net that we're gonna be is the endpoint that we're gonna be connecting to so as you can see right here it's devnet so let's just do this really quick and simple let's do mainnet and what you're gonna do is you're gonna see this just do a quick bada boom bada bing now we're going to be on mainnet let me show you on the wallet um, that see devnet got that little 10 cents there we're gonna be millionaires guys <clears throat> um, let's switch now to Mainnet. So I'm going to switch to mainnet. Alright, got a little bit in there already. Um, so I'm going to refresh this page. Again, just simple microtransaction. Don't need to do anything crazy here. Um, let's try this. Okay, give me a second. I got to switch back to. Uh, mainnet. Okay, let's go open up the QR code. All right, and Sending transaction sent. Let's check our wallet. Bada boom, bada bing. You'll see just now we received our soul. Again, tiny micro payments on the blockchain is something that I think it's really awesome. Again, this is not selling or telling you to buy tokens or do any of that nonsense. I'm hoping to teach you some programming. Uh, play with some repos. Just play with this stuff. It's not this doesn't always have to be the speculation and to the moon stuff. Uh, so this is just a simple tutorial on how to do that. Let's uh, you know what? Let me show you how to add uh, USDC. So add SPL token into here and. Uh, 
let's do I think it's gonna be mainnet yes so just put in mainnet USDC mint and this is in the um, where I got this is this gonna be in utils constant and it's gonna be right here okay so this is just the contract that if I put this on a soul scan, it's going to show me the USDC chain, or um, I'm sorry, Explorer. It's gonna show you kind of all of the breakdown of uh, mints and et cetera, et cetera. So there's that. Actually, let me show you because I'm gonna find out the decimal and stuff. So let's just copy this. Let's copy this contract. Let's go to our browser. Let's open up soul scan. Um, and so that's the, um, here, let me type this, um, oh, sorry, this is DevNet, that's why, <laughs> I was a little worried, I was like, wait, what, all right, oh, come on, all right, let's paste this and make sure it's a mainnet, and see, you'll see USDC coin right here, so the one thing that you're going to need is you want to see the decimal, Okay, let's go back to our root. So this is changed to six and let's do min two. Okay, so now this is only going to accept USDC. And what we'll need to do is here is change the icon. USDC icon. All right, that should be built. Let's Reload, got to change the symbol to USDC. All right, let's refresh this page again. And now you should see USDC right there. So let me make sure I have some USDC in my main net. I do. Let's do, again, micro transaction. Let me see if I can send less than a penny. Um, I don't know if I can. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's make some history here today, guys. So all you have to do is, again, just click your QR button. You don't need to hit anything. Just type that. This will pop up. Hit send. And voila. We just sent less than a penny on a blockchain again that's based on a dollar but think about the implications of that i just think it's it's amazing and again this is a pos system so you know you don't need stripe you don't need shopify you don't need all these things now the cool part is with solana pay is that you can integrate this stuff into shopify or if you have other products and it's just getting started i mean this repo is just out so again play around with it if you have any questions um i'll be glad to help if you need any custom tokens or if you have any tokens that you want to see me integrate into the pos uh just leave in the comments if you want to see me and show on a tutorial on how to design some of this stuff like changing the background or changing the button uh you know I'll definitely do a tutorial on that let me know and uh stay beautiful everyone